Well, I think the key word here, the key watchword is uncertainty. Uh, there is uncertainty as to the direction of policy, the timing of policy, um, and there's uncertainty as to the magnitude of the fiscal stimulus that will happen. So Gregory, you've spoken to Dukascopy TV countless times in the build-up to the US election. So now we are on the cusp of seeing Donald Trump enter office. So has your GDP outlook for the United States changed at all in light of this? Well, our, our GDP outlook for the US economy uh, is a little bit brighter uh, than we used to think pre-election. Um, and some of that is essentially based on the assumption that the Trump administration will pass a fiscal stimulus plan worth about $1.2 uh, trillion over the next decade. Uh, now, it's important to keep in mind that um, although there are some positives and that markets have uh, really bet on those positives, the fact that we expect a fiscal stimulus plan, the fact that we expect additional infrastructure spending, and the fact that we expect uh, some deregulation of businesses, there are a number of negatives. Protectionism, isolationism, uh, the risk of an anti-immigration position that's quite strong, and still a lot of uncertainty as to daily business activity. So let's not overdo it. Uh, we have expectations of growth of about 2.3% in 2017 and about 2.5%, uh, 2.6% in 2018. And you mentioned the fiscal spending there. So that has expanded to around $1.1 1 .1 on behalf of Oxford Economics. That's the prediction that you have for that. So how is, what implications will that have on the U.S. economy? Well, that major fiscal stimulus uh, will have a big boost uh, for the U.S. economy. Uh, we expect that out of that $1.2 trillion fiscal package, about $200 billion will come through in the first 18 months uh, of uh, Trump being in office. And what that means is about 1% of GDP in terms of fiscal stimulus uh, to U.S. economic activity. Now, that's quite big, and that's why we have uh, growth really peaking around 25 percent around the late 2017, early 2018 period. Um, but that will also have implications on the federal uh, budget deficit. And indeed, we expect uh, the federal budget deficit to increase more than 50 percent from around 3 percent of GDP right now to about four and a half, five percent by 2018. So it will have a cost in terms of a federal deficit. Um, and that's really what's uh, going to be needed uh, if Trump is indeed to achieve his objective of 3 percent growth. And in an article that you provided for Oxford Economics, you did mention that you're seeing a pro-growth, pro-inflation environment when you do see Donald Trump in presidency. So what kind of impact will this have on the Federal Reserve? What movements are you expecting from them? Well, I think the key word here, the key watchword is uncertainty. Uh, there is uncertainty as to the direction of policy, the timing of policy, um, and there's uncertainty as to the magnitude of the fiscal stimulus that will happen. And I think the Fed is very much in that position of uncertainty. It does not know for sure when and if this fiscal stimulus will take place and what impact it will have on the economy and on inflation. That's what was reflected is essentially in the latest FOMC minutes from the December uh, Fed meeting, where policymakers really reflected upon that uncertainty. Now, if we are to be in an environment in which indeed there is fiscal stimulus, and indeed growth does accelerate to about two and a half, three percent over the next 18 months, and if indeed inflation follows suit and continues to firm above the Fed's two percent target, then we would expect the Fed to engineer a gradually faster pace of interest rate tightening. And we expect two rate hikes in 2017 and three federal funds rate increases in 2018. Fantastic. So we've got uncertainty as the keyword to hold on to there. So thank you so much for joining us on the line to provide your insights. Thank you. Well, that's all from myself and Gregory. But if you did like this interview, then please do like and comment on dukascopy.tv.